The hustle and bustle of the holidays can bring unexpected medical concerns, including increased risk for heart attack and stroke. Studies show heart attacks and strokes increase on Christmas Day and New Year's Day. Joining me now is Dr. Chris Fox, a neurosurgeon at Mayo Clinic. Good morning, Dr. Fox. Nobody wants to start the new year, let alone spend Christmas Day in the emergency room because of a stroke or a heart attack. Uh, good morning. You're absolutely right. Uh, who can think of anything worse than that? Um, and as much as we all love the holidays, myself included, for a lot of folks, there's stress that goes into the holidays that's different than uh, what they usually have. And there's lots of eating and drinking and things that put some stress on the heart and the blood vessels. And uh, that can lead to heart attacks and strokes, unfortunately. Oftentimes, many of us talk about stroke and heart attack. But tell us what a stroke is. Well, there's two types of stroke, and they both result in the brain get, not getting enough blood flow. Uh, one type of stroke is when there's bleeding in the brain. The other type of stroke is when a blood vessel is blocked and the brain does not get enough blood flow because of that. That's the more common type of stroke and the type of stroke that, that most people think about when they think of someone having a brain attack. So usually there's a blood vessel that get, gets clogged by a, um, a clot that comes from somewhere else in the body. And uh, that, that blocks that vessel and uh, all the, the brain behind that vessel doesn't get enough blood flow. What are signs and symptoms patients will experience? So we talk about fast, face, arm, speech, and time. So in the brain, the right side of the brain controls the left side of the body and vice versa. So if the right side of the brain is blocked, then people can experience drooping of the left side of the face, uh, weakness on the left side of the body, problems with uh, getting their words out because their tongue may not work right. Um, and then the T part of that fast algorithm is time. Every minute that goes by that the brain is not getting enough blood flow, um, those brain cells are dying. So the quicker you can get to the hospital and, and have somebody like me or many other doctors who do this type of stuff get the stroke taken care of, the better off you'll be. At what point should people go to the hospital? Basically, as soon as you're having any of those symptoms, you need to get to the hospital as soon as possible. Same thing with a heart attack. You know, if you're if you're having chest pain, if you're having pain that radiates to the left side of your jaw or down your left arm, you need to get to the hospital right away. And most patients know the signs of a heart attack. You know, a lot of people don't know the signs of stroke as well. So again, if you're having any problems with your face, with your arm, with your speech, any other neurologic symptoms that don't seem right, just need to get to the hospital and we can take care of you and get things done as quickly as possible. When you talk about these signs and symptoms, do they differ among different groups of people? Sure, not everybody has classic signs of stroke, but a lot of times when a large vessel in the brain is affected, again, you know, it, it, it's very reproducible and stereotype the type of symptoms that we see. Um, but the bottom line is if anything is happening um, and, and, you, and you don't feel right and you feel like part of your body isn't working right or you can't get your words out or your thinking is not right or your vision uh, all of a sudden becomes double, those are the type of symptoms that um, you know, we see all the time. And, and many times people stay at home thinking they'll go away. Um, and unfortunately, that, that doesn't happen very often. So, um, you know, for example, I just got called this morning about a 29 year old patient, mm -hmm. totally healthy, all of a sudden developed double vision um, and he's having a stroke. So, um, you know, the faster you get to the hospital, the faster we can get those blood vessels opened up, get blood flow back to the brain and get your brain working normally again. Dr. Fox, thank you so much for joining us this morning and having this conversation with us. Before I let you go, resources for people, where can they go to find out more information? Well, uh, if you go to the Mayo Clinic website, there's lots of information about our stroke program there. Also the American Heart Association, the American Stroke Association, uh, great resources on their website um, talking about stroke and what to do if uh, you or any of your loved ones are experiencing these things. Dr. Fox, thank you so much.